I am going to make this word really quick. Um, and I pray that it blesses you because God has been saying to me for most of the day that y'all need some encouragement. And I myself was pressing through myself needing some encouragement as well. And I just got to a point where God was able to bring it all home for me, right? So God said to me, we really have um, traded the power of encouragement for, you know, other things like inspiration and motivation. And God took me to first Samuel 30, um, which is probably the most famous passage of encouragement in the Bible. And it is the scripture that talks about David encouraging himself in the Lord, right? And again, the context of that scripture is very, very important because David is at a point where, you know, something has happened to the families of the men that he's in charge of, and the men are very angry and they want to kill David. They want to kill David. And so in that instance, the Bible says David encouraged himself in the Lord. Now, the Bible does not make clear what that process of encouragement looks like, but I want to talk about just David encouraging himself and then what happened after David encouraged himself. So the Bible says that David encouraged himself in the Lord, and then shortly after that, David goes and talks to, to the Lord about what has happened. And David says, what should I do? Like, what should I do about what has happened to the families?" of my men and my family. And God told David, pursue, cause you will recover all, right? And so that is the moment that I had. That is the moment that I had. Um, I In my video that I put out this morning, I told you that for me, revelation is a beautiful thing, but then I will have to walk that revelation out, right? Like I have to believe it and then I have to receive it and then I have it. And and with the receiving, right? The receiving is a little bit of a shaking. The receiving is a little bit of the enemy, you know, really trying to get that, that word, that seed out of me. And so today I had just, you know, there's a, there's a lot going on in the atmosphere at work. You know, there was just like, like, uh, temperaments were really high, but other than that, outside of that, outside of that, let me, let me be clear and tell you that outside of that, you know, I know for sure, because God had already explained it to me that, you know, there was a certain kind of spirit that was coming after me. Right. And so for me, my joy is very important. My joy is important for one, because I've struggled with depression for so long that just in the natural, me having joy is important. Also in this hour, joy is important because joy is the very momentum. It is a very force that is propelling me towards the promised land. So I don't have time for low level demons masking themselves as discouragement and oppression, right? I don't care, right? And so that word I released about personal and serious, God had to, God had to, I had to revisit that word, right? I had to revisit that word and God had to tell me, number one, right? Don't take it personal, but you need to take it serious. So like David, God put a charge in my spirit to pursue. Now, obviously God is not telling me to pursue the person, right? But let me tell you, right? I had to really, cause I've come against this spirit of oppression that has been in operation from this person before, but I had to do it again. I had to do it again. And I had to really spend some time really binding this thing up, really pleading the blood against this thing, really telling this thing. I don't have like, no, you're not allowed here. And I want to encourage you guys. And I want to talk to you about, first of all, you know, in this climate with everything that we're doing, right? We're, we are continuing to want to put the buggy before the horse, as my grandmother would say, right? David encouraged himself in the Lord. Then he asked the Lord, what should I do? Like, what should I do? Right. And so I'm asking you right now that because God told me that you guys need encouragement, that you need encouragement. Right. So I don't know what situations and what, 
what things, what spirits, what strongholds are trying to to like discourage you in this hour and get you in your feelings and make you feel some type of way. But I'm asking you to do as David did and I'm asking you to inquire of the Lord, right? I'm asking you to inquire of the Lord and then when God reveals that thing, go hard. If it's oppression, if it's depression, if it's discouragement, whatever it is, I want you to really spend some time really praying against that thing. Um, and I want you to encourage yourself. I want you to encourage yourself. I want you to know that God is faithful. God is trustworthy. God got us. Like, and I'm not, I'm not talking about the climate of this world. I'm really not. I'm just talking about if you for real, for real, just need some encouragement, right? One thing I will say, and God just continues to tell me this, right? And I talk about it all the time. We really need to be lovers of the word of God. That is how the Holy Ghost manifests itself, right? We, we really need to be lovers of the word. We really need the word in our belly, right? So if you are not a Bible reader, right, I would encourage you. I would encourage you to get a scripture that's familiar to you and and read it. Don't just say it, but read it. A lot of times, right, there are scriptures that I'm familiar with and God will tell me still to go and physically read the scripture out of the Bible, right? So I would encourage you, I would encourage you to, you know, go in the Bible, get, um, and read it, like read it. I don't, I don't know where God wants you to start. You know, I had a friend that asked me, where should I start? And for some reason, I love the middle of the book of John, like 15, 16 and 17. And I know I talk about the old Testament a lot, but I love that, that, passage of scripture because it's it's Jesus talking to like the believers he's talking to his disciples so I always love that passage I always always love that part of the Bible so I don't know maybe you want to start there but what I'm telling you is at the end of the day all is well we are good be encouraged but you need to get some word in your belly and you need to come after these low level oppressive demonic spirits that are coming after your joy you need to you need to no mm -mm 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 -mm. you need to no 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 we don't take it personal but we take it serious we i don't and listen i don't care who they come through i don't care who they come through like i've had moments where you know i don't know like you know I don't, I don't, I don't care who they come through, right? We're not, we're not taking it personal, but we're taking it serious. So I really know that God is going to release an actual word of encouragement that I'm going to release to you guys. But in the meanwhile, I just wanted to talk to you and say that I feel like there are those of you that are really struggling with, with discouragement, right? And struggling with some, some low level demonic activity. That's, that's exactly how I hear it. Right. And it could be because of the climate that's going on in this world, or it just could be, you know, because you're right there at your promised land, but like David, like David, right? Encourage yourself in the Lord. If there is some, if there's a passage of scripture that you love, it just feeds your soul, Read it, read it, read something that, read the 23rd Psalm, read Psalm 103, read something that's going to encourage you and then ask God, inquire of the Lord like David. What is this, right? David said, you know, what should I do, right? What is this going on? And when God gives you a word, listen, go ham after those spirits, right? Bind them up in the name of Jesus. We're not tolerating people trying to oppress us and people treating us like crap and people talking to us crazy and you dumping all your misery in. No, we're not tolerating that in this hour. We're not. So bind that thing up and keep binding it up until you feel a shift in the spirit and like like God say recover all recover all recover all